This looks good. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Alright, guys, welcome back to Stuck on an Island. I'm stuck with you guys, and we are always smiling. Um, this is pretty much like a two-part video because I am doing right right now rice and peas It's on the wood fire whatever you call it and um, Yeah, I'm gonna be doing a whole fried chicken as I did mention in that video as well I don't know which one I'm putting out first, but anyway um, whole fried chicken is a concept that I did see somewhere else on um, I think it was on Facebook first and also on YouTube So that's a vibe. Um, it's still Typical like Jamaican uh, Sunday dinner. Some people do fried chicken, some people do stew chicken, but still with rice and peas or veggies or whatever the case is. Um, today I'm doing a whole fried chicken with rice and peas and with fried plants. Um, the first thing I'm going to be doing with my chicken is to create a mash. It's like a marinade pretty much. Use whatever seasonings you want. If you like pepper, add pepper, add a lot of pepper. Whatever the case is, you're going to do that. I'll show you what I'm going to be doing, mashing it and then doing the chicken whole. The reason why I like doing chicken whole most times is it's easier. I don't have to cut it up and two is i find that the chicken tends to be a little bit moister especially like in the joints like it doesn't dry out so much because there's not so much smaller surface areas to dry out so anyway let's get into the video if you guys like videos like these drop a like on it give it a thumbs up like thumbs up whatever the case is and i'll catch you guys in the next shot all right so this part is like really easy you don't have to you know, use a mallet or anything like that. Make sure you cut off any bad parts. Like this part, this part is bad. You don't have to use a mallet or anything like that. You can just blend it. Either either way, either one works, but I don't have a blender out here anyway, so. I remember at one point I got so good at cutting green peppers because I was working in a supermarket and we had to um, cut the peppers up for people like this and pre-make them <laughs> in the US. In America people have things so easy sometimes. All right. But even so though, not just in the US as a matter of fact, because I, I have noticed that you can go and get things pre-done in supermarkets in Jamaica as well and I guess that's just the times you know people sometimes are too busy they ain't got time to do all this stuff sometimes I like adding a little bit of oil So that my mallet has a little bit of movement, but not too much. All right, so I pretty much mash this out to almost like an avocado kind of consistency. Maybe it could go more, but my hands are tired, man. So the next part that we're going to be doing is to deal up with the chicken, which should be pretty easy. Uh, this side is my veg side. I just showed V E G. By the right, it should have two different cutting boards, but I'm gonna take off a lot of space in my bag. So that's gonna be my veg seasoning, whatever side. And this side could be the meat side, which I'll use now. All right, so here's our chicken. Um, pretty much, we are going to get rid of the back area because we need for it to lay flat it's gonna make it easier for us all right all right so now we have our bird opened up so pretty much the idea is that the bird can lay flat inside there yeah makes sense makes sense all right so time to wash it off clean it up a bit so we got the just fine here um if you're at home you might have what you call it vinegar i mean caribbean people we always wash our chicken 
you know, get rid of what we call the raw smell, smell raw. So we generally wash our chicken. So that's basically what I'm doing right now. So if you don't have vinegar, you can use any citrus pretty much. And do that. So the bark I won't waste. You can actually cook cook it up or do anything with it, but Mocha is here, she might be a little bit hungry. There you go, good girl. And vanilla, come. I think this is what is this? Whatever, I don't even know. Good girl. Come. Come. For those who might wonder, I do give my dogs um a raw diet every now and again. Sometimes I cook the meat a bit as well, remove any bacteria. But yeah, that's the life, ain't it? Alright guys, so as beautiful as this green is and as much as it's going to season up the, you know, the chicken and all that nobody out here want to eat no Hulk chicken you know, this chicken is going to be too green so I have more seasoning to add to it like salt, um, paprika, black pepper, oregano and um, yeah, pimento berries so Make my flakes. A little bit of black pepper. I don't know, in Jamaica we say like black pepper gives stoppage of water. I mean, if you're a Jamaican, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you agree with that or if you really know about that, drop it in the comments, guys, let me know. But yeah, I don't really use black pepper a lot. And this is gonna help me get that red color, that more chicken food-like color that people like because I'm not using any artificial seasoning on it um, like you know soup it up or I don't like that just natural herbs and of course some pips, pink salt a Malaysian pink salt pink sea salt so if it needs more salt I'll always add more some of these herbs I'm gonna kind of tuck it under the skin a little bit where I can mm. I'm gonna add some more salt to it for sure I don't know if it's me but I find like this pink salt isn't like super strong like the regular salt Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Wipe up on day, mom. Okay, this seems good. Let that marinate for a bit. You guys don't know, cast iron pans are my favorite. You gonna get me a gift? Get me some cast iron pans, man. I love them. Very strong, I don't have to worry about wiping mud on it because it's already black. <laughs> it's built for outdoors, so it's so bad. And I'm going to need a rock. Any kind of rock, maybe. Oh, I'll try to find a flatter one. Okay, this is nice and flat. Purpose of the rock is just to fully submerge the chicken down. That's pretty much it. and good fire going on good down there yep once that dries out on the inside then I will um add some oil I know if I put the oil in there with the water be... so a lot of people always wonder um you know 
why these fast food restaurants always have such flavorful chicken and for me i think it's because of flavor building you know for the whole day they keep putting the same chicken over and over in the oil and that's because the oil starts getting character so from the different foods in there adding flavor to the oil. Um, I just see my ex-girlfriend's aunt do this. I did see this in a video as well. The video inspired me to do this. And uh, yeah, makes a lot of fun. Did you guys see my dumb self, how I threw the garlic in the hot oil? <laughs> or the ginger or whatever. Anyway, make that scale it for a bit, then I'm gonna drop the chicken in. Uh, the reason why I put it in whole is because if you chop it up, it's going to burn really quickly. When it's like that, it doesn't really burn as quick. It's going to be there for quite a while. Pepper I can take out now because the chicken already has enough pepper on it. The onions. So I'm going to put her face down first. This looks good. If you guys think it looks good, drop a like on it, drop it in the comments, let me know. Make sure I keep this hot because when the chicken goes in, I'm going to start losing temperature. The chicken wasn't as hot as it was, so keep it nice and hot. Yo, you two need to come out with sm smell of vision because like, yo, yeah, I just dropped some extra acumenta berries here that I didn't put any before. As you can see, a nice little drone coming around there. Yo, this chicken smells so good. Trust me guys, it smells so good. I don't know because it's my first meal this for the day, but um, just like me, I watch another YouTuber with this um, style. And the cool thing about learning from each other is that you can feel free to try it yourself you know try it use it for yourself and when you once you learn like one cooking technique you can always use it for like other stuff or just experiment and do your own little miss and match and see how it works but trust me this is smelling really good um i have a timer set um it's six minutes gone already usually chicken i don't know like a chicken breast is about six minutes this is a whole chicken so i'll give it a little bit more but what i'll do i'll just give it a flip because about six minutes plus time that i didn't add to about 10 so yeah, I'll give it a flip now. The rock has a bit of heat to it, so. That it's got to be enough cooking time. Nice and golden brown.
and I can't be bothered to um, lessen the oil for the fried plants. I'm gonna fry it just the same way. Same concept, might just not have to flip because everything is underneath there. Alright guys, so my next step is to make some gravy. I'm not quite a gravy fan to be quite honest, but I know some of you all are and yeah, it's gonna help the food out a little bit. So normally I just top this onto the sour jelly, you know, just sour jelly straight. I might just do that or just might just make a, uh, what you call it, a little sauce. So I'm gonna use a little bit of oil, a little bit of water, a little bit of this thing here, and some of the seasoning that I have for my chicken. Um, yeah, should be all right. This is from uh, Reggae Caramella. I will have this up on the website. If anyone wants this, drop in the comments. I want this sorrel jelly and I will ship it out to you for free. Okay, this is not about done. This is not the kind of um, fried plant in which is that soft. It's a little bit firmer. Like, no, Alright, so I left back just a bit of the chicken um, fats and oils. Not too much, just a little bit. What I'm gonna do is put in some of the season that I had before from the chicken. So this pepper jelly actually has the, the sorrel petals in there so you might have to shake it up a bit so make sure that you get everything for this use a spoon it's kind of thick though uh, there we go Guys, I'm by the river, so I wash my hand every time, I guess. That's the cool part about the river, you're so close to everything. You're so close to water, so. It's completely the vibe. Alright, so. Pretty much done. So I'm just ready to start sharing all my food. Oh gosh, guys, this smells so good. I didn't even know. So I start out with the rice. Yo, that chicken that smells good. Rough. Alright, so the rice is there. Couple plantains. Now time for the chicken. This is like the main event. I'm gonna cut the chicken straight down in half. Easy to work it up, eh? Wow. Going with the leg and thigh. Yo, this chicken breast is actually more tender than I, I thought it would be. For you guys to see. <laughs> That's not even with the skin yet, boy. Wow. Oh my gosh. I thought I would have hated the chicken breast. I actually prefer it so far. It's so hard to try to show you guys everything. And then now for this quick sorrel gravy whip up. It's 
going to be nice and spicy. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Very nice. Trust me. And my dogs are there waiting for their share. Kindly and patiently. Trust me, this is a good sour gravy. It's really good. Alright guys, so that brings you to the end of another video. Um, if you didn't see the rice and peas cooking part or you didn't see the chicken part, I don't know where I'm putting this video at. It should be posting next or it's posting after whatever. It's going to be there because um, I did two videos in one day. I'm um, about to leave the river right now. Um, it was a vibe. If you want to see more videos like these, definitely drop some likes on it. Get this video to a thousand likes. I'd appreciate it. And drop some comments. Let me know what you think. Maybe you've done this style before or maybe you have some improvements on it. I don't know. But anyway, guys, remember to see things. Love, nature, adaptation. And always remember, keep the link.